everyone, and welcome back to Tweensy. I'm Lauren, and today I'm going to lead you through a pipe cleaner superheroes craft. Let's get into it. For today's craft, you're going to need two googly eyes and seven pony beads, as well as a large wooden bead, three pipe cleaners, a straw, markers, tacky glue, scissors, and a piece of felt that I didn't show here. To start, take the three pipe cleaners and twist them together, and then arrange them as shown. Once you've arranged your pipe cleaners like this, take three pony beads and slide them up the two on the bottom. These two on the bottom are your legs and these pony beads are going to form the body of your superhero. Now it's time to make the arm and leg segments. Take your straw and cut it into eight equal sized pieces. Your straw is almost eight inches long, so they'll each be about an inch long, but it's not exact. So you might need to use a ruler and measure it out, find the middle of your straw, and then cut it in the middle, and then cut each of those halves in half, and then cut each of those halves in half again. Once you've got all the straw segments cut, you're going to use two segments and one pony bead to make each leg an arm. So slide a straw segment on, then slide a pony bead on to form like the joint, and then slide another segment on. Do this for both legs and both arms. superhero's feet, bend the pipe cleaner and push it back into the straw to make a loop. Then twist and shape it into the shape of a foot, just like this. Do this for the other leg too. but instead of leaving it as one loop, form it into a mitten shape with one big loop and a little loop. to make your superhero's head. To do this, grab your large wooden bead and some markers and draw on a mask and some hair for your superhero. I chose to make my mask green and my hair yellow because my hair in real life is blonde and so I'm making the superhero to be looking like me. You don't have to make your superhero look like you, you can make it look however you want. I colored outside the lines.
While those dry, we can work on the cape. Grab your piece of felt and cut it into whatever shape cape you want. I'm just going to do mine a simple triangle. Later we're going to glue the cape on right here at the base of the neck, but you can set it to the side for now. Grab your head and slide it on. We're going to work on the neck now. Once you've slid your head on, you can take your scissors and trim the pipe cleaner above the head. Leave about a centimeter above the head because we're going to bend that over and use it for the neck. So watch where I cut it and then do that to your superhero. Twist the two ends together and then slide the head off. Now you can bend the pipe cleaner over and that's where you're going to attach the wooden head. The easiest way to do this is to flip your head over and put glue in the hole on the bottom and then just slide your wooden head right on. That'll distribute the glue all over the pipe cleaner and inside the wooden bead. Now for the cape. Put some glue on the base of the wooden bead as well as the little bit of pipe cleaner that shows through and then attach your cape there. If you're using tacky glue or white glue, it's going to take a while for it to dry and you're going to have to leave it for a little bit. Another option would be to use hot glue and that'll dry really quickly and hold really strong. Once the glue dries, you're done. There you go, your very own pipe cleaner superhero. Joining me today to make these super cool pipe cleaner superheroes. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now to make an origami fox. See you then.